Hi everyone, right then, so uh, this is finding the equation of a line. Now this is a form that you've possibly not seen, but is actually the easiest to do. You literally drop three numbers in. You drop the gradient in and you drop the coordinate in. And that's it, job done. So if I just write down the equation for both of these, I'll do them side by side, so it's obvious. So it's got a gradient of minus 3. So I've got a minus 3 there. And the x value is, minus, is 2, so that's a minus. Replace the x one with a 2. And then with the y, it's minus 4, so it's minus and minus 4, so it's plus 4. And that is the equation done. Drop the three numbers and the job done. So with this one, the gradient is a half, and the coordinate is 1, 3. So it's y minus, which is your y1 there. Uh, replace the y1 with a 3. Replace the x1 with a 1. That's it. So if it asks you for an equation of a straight line, that, realistically, is all you have to do. However, these questions then want you to rearrange it. You've got to try. The hardest thing ever is getting you out of the habit of doing y equals mx plus c. Finding the c value and then subbing it in. You can just drop the three numbers in. Right, and so for, we'll have to do a bit of rearranging. So I've got y plus 4 is minus 3x plus 6. So y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. And that's done for the form that it wants it. Uh, for this one, a little bit more nice, algebraically. I want it as x is y, as your numbers. So I'm going to multiply through by the 2. And I'm going to multiply through by the 1. So I've got 2y minus 6 is x minus 1. Now I want it, x is y, and the numbers are on the same side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the x positive. You don't need to, but it's just nice. So if I keep the x positive, I'm going to move the 2y over, and I'm going to move the 6 over. You might not be happy writing it like that, so I can just put the, the equals 0 on the other side there. And that looks really, really nice for us, believe it or not. Right, so I can also, if I, if I moved everything over on the left, I could have had a minus x plus a 2y, a minus 5 is 0. So just the signs are reversed. And that's also fine. So that's the bottom of page 3 done. Let's have a look at your page 4. There's quite a lot in this lesson, actually. It's only two lessons, but there's quite a lot of theory in this. Right, so let's have a look at this example. So it says, find the equation of a line passing through 1, 4, and minus 1, 13. Give your answer in the form of. Right. So it tells me here, hint, I need to find m first. Now what I was going to do, I was going to write a little plan at the side. So I want to find m. I want to choose a point. I want to use y minus y1 and then looking at the answer I want to rearrange it there. right so if I draw a little picture so I've got a point which is minus 113 and I've got a point which is 14 so it's to the right and lower than 14 I want the gradient I'm going to use this colour can you see that colour on the video? I hope you can. So going across is from minus 1 to 1, so it's 2 across. Going down is 13 down to 4, so that's 9 down. I quite like that colour. I'm not sure if I can find out how to get that colour or one like it. So my gradient is going to be minus, because it's going down, 9 over 2. So the picture helps me make sure I get the sign by on gradient. I'm going to choose a point. I'm going to use 1, 4, only because it's, it's all positive. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to use that gradient and 1, 4. 
So if we look at the formula, uh, I'm going to do y minus 4 is minus 9 over 2 x minus 1. And then that's done. So if you just ask for the equation, that nine is okay. if you just ask for the equation, then that's fine, it's done. But this is one that's in a specific form. Right, so uh, I'm going to multiply through by 2. So I've got two lots of y minus 4. And multiply through by minus 9. I haven't got any sign now, it's there, have I? And then if I rearrange it, it's x is y, it's numbers equal zero. So I've shifted everything over on that side. So I've got 9x plus 2y, take a 9, is minus 17, is equal to zero. Something a little bit sneaky, um, which gets missed, is making sure that your answers are whole numbers. So what some people do is, They'll multiply through by the minus 9 over 2 on the right hand side and then have stuff as fractions. We can't have fractions, it has to be integers, and that's really important. There. 6 minutes 32, I'm doing all right here, aren't I? You're on video 7000. Right, so uh, things we know. So if the parallel lines, the gradients are the same. So M1 is equal to M2. If I asked you in class if I'm perpendicular, so being right angles, you might say the negative reciprocal. So like M1 is the same as minus 1 over M2. Flip it and change the sign, that's what I'm saying. Being really technical, you should say M1, M2 is equal to minus 1. So if I multiply the gradients together, if they're equal to minus 1, I make sure that it's perpendicular. But we're just going to go with like, flip it and change the sign. Right, so it says write down the equation of a line which is perpendicular to. So if I see that as 5 over 1, if I flip it, it's 1 over 5. If I change the sign, it's a minus. Part B, if I flip it, it's 7 over 9. If I change the sign, it is positive. See that as minus 8 over 1. So if I flip it, it's 1 over 8. It is minus, so I'm making it positive. For part D, if I flip it, it's 2 over 1, which is 2. Change the sign, is minus. There you go. Hopefully that was quite straightforward. Uh, am I going to be able to do, with two minutes left, am I going to be able to do a perpendicular bisect question? Uh, I don't think so because there's lots of chatter. Right. I'll stop that on the side.